Alice goes every day looking glass into a magic world. The clean look plan too starts with you. Look at yourself in your looking glass and then taking those first steps through the mirror into the clean look workshop. With its three looking glasses. One, over the makeup table. Two, over the wash basin. And three, the full length mirror. Look in them and you will see yourself as you are and as you wish to be. Study yourself. For who is beautiful if not you? You at your best. There's no one in the world exactly like you. So why be a copy? Why be just another imitation? Be yourself. Yourself at your glowing best. Body, face, hair. That's the objective of the clean look plan. So now to work. And step one of the one, two, three plan, care of the face, how to achieve a fine, clear, radiant complexion, then how to complement that fine complexion with a clean look makeup. You can give the wisest care to your own skin. If you understand the secrets of that skin, then you'll know how to give it that shining look, whether it's the skin of face, body, or scalp. You've heard women say, I clean and clean my skin and still it looks dull and tired and dirty. Here's the explanation simplified. Your skin, whether on your face or all over the rest of your body, is dotted with thousands of tiny openings called pores. If these pores lay just on the surface, they could be cleaned out in a jiffy, but they lie deep down like wells far into the skin. And these tiny skin wells are constantly catching and holding dirt, grime, grease, soot from the air, and very important, Internal wastes pour from inside the body and must get out through these pore openings. The skin surface too keeps scaling off, for you're always getting, day by day, a fine, silken, baby new skin. But the old skin must be removed, or it too remains as a dowing, thick layer. If these pores do get filled up from without and within, they are stretched larger and coarser. Blackheads form, other eruptions, and you have a dull, tired, dirty looking skin skin that constantly breaks out. And now you know the secret of why the only cleansing that will do any good is deep cleansing. Cleansing right down to the bottom of each pore. Cleansing which brings up the circulation, constantly feeds the skin with briskly circulating blood. To ensure this cleansing, unfailingly, morning and night, use a clean look five minute facial. You begin with a finely milled soap, a soap to which has been added the wonder-working substance AT7, which doctors call hexachlorophene, the soap essential to the clean look facial. Start by working this soap up into thousands of creamy, fine bubbles. These bubbles are important because they work right down to the very of those tiny pore wells. Each bubble then completely surrounds a speck of dirt and with rinsing, floats it right out and away. And the AT7, the hexachlorophene, works at the same time to purify the whole skin. You may have read about AT7 in the Reader's Digest article called Soap That Kills Germs. This is the new substance, the first ever discovered which could be added to a mild, a clover fragrant mild soap. And yet, mild as the soap is, the hexachlorophene still kills thousands upon thousands of the bacteria that often aggravate and spread blemishes. So the lather of this soap not only penetrates right down deep, but it also purifies. Use a washcloth or massage the lather in with your fingertips. Wash always in an upward direction, delicately. Skin is a delicate structure, and those bubbles get in easily without violent massage. Gently lift up and out. Wash from chin to the base of your ear, from the base of the nose to your temples. Barely touch that tissue-thin, easily destroyed skin around your eyes.
around and around on your forehead. Upward. Always upward. Gently. And up from the base of the throat. There you are. Cleansing and stimulation and exercise. A beauty treatment at any age. You can't start too young, you know. Beauty care is a habit. And of course, at any age, you just must watch those wrinkles. All right, skin deep cleansed. Now don't let that dirt settle back in. Rinse all that cleansing lather away. Give your face a rinsing that's a tone up in itself. Alternate lukewarm and cool water. Too hot or too cold is too much. Bring up all that vitalizing supply of blood. Pat skin dry, delicately. Don't rub dry. Or you'll also rub off the good natural oils the cleansed skin is supplying to keep your face free from harsh dryness. There you are, at any age, glowing, fine textured skin, satin smooth, with a five minute clean look facial. Once you've thoroughly cleansed your face, you can use any additional aids, oils, astringents, other stimulants that you find necessary. Study your own needs. You're an individual. Skins differ according to temperament, general health condition, climate. But always first cleanse and get that blood up. You see, your skin's actually a mirror. It does reflect your entire way of life. What you eat, how well you rest, the exercise you get, your inner and outer cleanliness. And now for your satin clean skin, a makeup. A clean look makeup to bring out all the natural beauty of its clean look. Makeup's a study in itself. You'll want not only to know how, but when to use it. For instance, you wouldn't anymore go to school wearing mascara and eyeshadow and penciled eyebrows than you would go to school wearing an evening gown. But when you use makeup, use it as an expert. Experiment on your to find the right foundation color. If your skin tends to be sallow, try a foundation with some pink in it. For a skin that tends to have too much color, use a light foundation to take away some of the color. But whatever you do, don't use your foundation as a thick mask. No matter how thickly you put it on, you can't hide a badly cleansed, broken out skin. And a thick foundation emphasizes wrinkles makes for an unattractive, unreal look. Put on lightly, blend, and keep on... Again, blend and keep blending upward and you add sparkle. Rouge unblended into the skin used heavily makes you look older. Like all makeup, if it's noticeable, it's badly used. This is true too of accenting eyebrow color. The eyebrow frame the eye, not be noticeable in itself. So never draw a single heavy line, just accent the natural look. Gently, lightly sketch out the line of each hair in the direction in which the hair grows beginning the line parallel with the corner of the eye, blending at the end of the brow. Don't let the end of the line droop. You'll look as if your whole face is drooping. Now brush the hairs up with a dry brush. And then, taking a small comb, barely turn down the tips of the hairs. You'll have a beautiful, clean line.
for the right occasion, eyeshadow is also an aid to eye beauty. But if you use it, use it correctly. Choose a color that brings out your own eye color. Blue for blue eyes. Using just a bit of the shadow on your finger, begin tracing a line as close to the lid edge as possible. Here, green is used for hazel eyes. Start halfway across the lid. This makes the eye look larger. Now blend and blend until it's absolutely unnoticeable, right up and out toward the hairline. Keep blending. That's the only way to keep the natural, clean look. The clean look with mascara depends, first of all, on your not using too much. Used too thickly, the effect is hard, vulgarizing. Remember, mascara is not for everyone at all times. Use tastefully, use sparingly. Wipe brush almost dry. Then apply just on the top lashes only. Brush each lash individually. Now take a dry brush. Again, brush each lash separately till all but just a touch of color is brushed off. The beauty of the eyes is what you see, not the makeup. The use of lipsticks, one of the greatest tests of your artistry and good taste in using makeup. For the cleanest, most natural line, use a brush. A little patience and a little practice and you'll be an expert. Fill the brush with color. As always, you can check color by effect. Do you notice the lips themselves? Or do you say, that's a lovely woman? Trace a clean, unexaggerated line staying as close to the natural line as possible. If lips are too thin, fill right out to the uttermost edge of the line. If too full, stop within the line. Brush in lipstick, filling the line right out to the corner. Now this is important. Blot off all excess, unblotted lipstick's thick, pasty looking. Blot for the smooth, clean, natural look. And study the impression left on the tissue to check the shaping of the lip. Now for powder. Take a clean piece of cotton. Cotton's best because it fluffs powder on. Doesn't leave a heavy, flat surface. Use fresh each time for absolute cleanliness. Fluff on powder for a softening effect. And then brush and brush off. If the powder shows, your makeup's not clean looking. Then for a final professional touch, take a sponge, dampen it only slightly, and pat all over your makeup. The final freshening for that natural, clean look. Now look at your... Step one of your one, two, three clean look plan completed. Your face deep cleansed and purified with a deep lather of the AT7 soap. Its shining beauty naturally emphasized with a natural makeup. Face beauty that is the beauty of natural health with a clean look makeup. beauty. Do you know that your daily bath can be both a beauty and a health treatment? Great aid to medical progress and one of the most important ways of achieving beauty through health. Hot baths for a better circulation. Lukewarm baths for relaxation. And for beauty, the clean look bath. The bath made possible by the new wonder soap which we saw helping prevent the spread of skin blemishes and infections. The soap to which AT7 was added. For just as it helped prevent face skin problems, it's been found too to destroy the bacteria that cause odor. And so this mild, fine lathering, clover fresh soap can now be used to wash away all skin odors and keep them away morning to night. Your bath not only cleans you all over, it can now keep you clean smelling all day, head to toe. And because your body skin is constructed just as the skin on your face is, 
you'll want to give it the same deep lather cleansing right down into those deep pores. Use your coarse washcloth or one of the bath mitts such as this loofah mitt. Scrub yourself all over with your 87 soap. Really scrub. Scrub away the old skin that scales off as does face skin, leaving fine new skin uneaten. Lather and scrub elbows. The bottom of your feet. Lather them with this soap and you'll no longer have to worry about foot odor. Be sure to reach up with that mitt or bath brush and get off the old skin between your shoulder blades. Give the base of your throat a good rubbing to start blood up into your face. And be sure your face is clean before you take your bath, or the steam will work dirty. Now run a little cold water into your tub for stimulation. Cleansing plus circulation equals satin skin, face or body. Now out of the bath for a final rub down and skin toning. Hold a good sturdy bath towel by both ends and pull until tight. Work back and forth. Give your feet a stimulating rub down too. And you'll end up pinkly glowing, radiantly clean, healthier, more alert. This is the time to check up too on every detail of body care. Deodorants, for instance. There was a time when deodorants were quite a problem. For although fresh perspiration is normally odorless, it is soured by skin bacteria, much as bacteria sour milk. Once perspiration could only be stopped entirely or the odor masked in spots. But perspiration occurred all over the body because, as you saw, pores are all over the body. Only a soap could cover that entire surface. But ordinary soap just wasn't effective. Then came AT7, the only antiseptic substance which could be put in soap and still remain effective. It was given every trial, and wonder of wonders, mild as it was, sweet smelling, yet it actually proved to destroy up to 98% of odor causing bacteria present on the skin. And now at last, women, and of course men too, can be free of all fear of perspiration odor. Just a daily bath with this soap, a lathering over the whole body, and no further deodorants are necessary. Although you can use an antiperspirant or dress shield if perspiration is heavy. For final body cleanliness, remove unwanted hair by waxes, a cream removal or a razor as you please. Since the soap leaves only a faint clover fresh aroma, it doesn't interfere with your using your own cologne. But, as in face makeup, so in cologne. Used to emphasize natural freshness, not to mask. Body immaculately clean? How about the line of your figure? You get a lot of exercise every day. You who go briskly about your dusting. You who walk swiftly to work or school. But we promised you shortcuts. And here's one quick five-minute method to achieve beautiful posture, which immediately gives your figure a good clean line, makes you graceful, and is an exercise in itself. Stand with your back against a wall. Place the back of your heels against the wall. Pull hip muscles together, tightly. Push forward and up, right up against the hip bone. See how that flattens your stomach, straightens your spine, and with just this straightening, you'll take as much as two inches off your measure. Now, as your spine straightens, gently relax your shoulders and press against the wall. Practice every day until you're able to walk away from the wall, keeping this beautiful, clean line. For reducing, repeat the exercise. Heels against the wall, pull hip muscles together tightly, push forward and up, right up against the hip bone, and end by raising arms high above the head, touching the wall, stretch up and out, and walk away from the wall. You'll feel the pull of all the muscles. 
How do you look when you're sitting down? Walking. Bad posture makes you look heavier, older. So use your exercise for sitting, too. Hips under, lift up against the hip bone, relax shoulders, and you'll have the grace of movement, the health, elegance, and beauty of the body clean mind. And there you are. A graduate of step two of your clean look plan. Body clean, body line clean. And so we come to step three, the clean look plan for your hair. No matter how perfect the rest of your appearance is, the effect will be spoiled if your hair isn't radiantly clean, alive. As in skin care, the two most important factors for scalp health are cleanliness and circulation. Hair, the roots of the hair, are as living as body and face skin. Blood must be kept circulating through them, particularly through the roots, the scalp. If the scalp isn't kept clean, stimulated, hair can't be beautiful. To keep your scalp healthy, every single day brush and keep brushing. Not just your hair, but your scalp. Get that blood up in your scalp. Push the dirt off, 50 to 100 strokes. Brush from the back of the neck to the hair ends. Then the hair will shine. Start brushing with clean brushes. Brushes that have been washed with AT7 soap. So for true scalp health, for sweet smelling hair, wash hair once a week with this AT7 shampoo. For the scalp pores need the same deep cleansing, the same purification, the same destruction of odor causing bacteria as face and body. Wet hair thoroughly, Apply shampoo from the plastic squeeze bottle that sprays the shampoo deeply into hair and scalp. Work into a rich lather and massage. Your fingers press deep into the scalp. Move the scalp with your fingertips, round and round. That edge of the hair must be cleaned with particular care. Wash rinse, and then wash again. It's on the second washing when you have the dirt and oil out that you'll really get that fine, full lather. As for face and body, get circulation up, new blood in, then rinse. You need add no special rinse, such as lemon and vinegar. No dulling soap film is left on the hair. No scales on the scalp under which dirt can remain. So simply rinse till the water's clear and rub with a clean towel to dry. Brush hair out of doors if you can. Brush it dry after washing if possible. Brushing brings out the natural oil. And it doesn't take a greater elasticity, a true vital look which makes any wave more beautiful. Be sure to brush around the base of the neck and to the ends of the hair. To get the best effect from brushing, bend your head down so that you get a flow of blood into the scalp. Brush with full strokes right to the ends of the hair. Upward and outward, feel the blood tingling in your scalp. That's clean look brushing. Your hair's taken on a shining new beauty. And now you're ready for a checkup on just how clean the line of your hairdo is. Hairstyle must suit you. As in makeup, start by studying you. Here the line is too severe. It should be softened, thus softening the whole appearance. But note that the line has been kept simple. No masses of curls. No draggling of hair around the neck. The important thing is line, not curls. Simplicity is the greatest beauty. The simplicity of shiningly clean hair, set in the way that best fits your face and activity. Here, the hair is a shapeless bush. So first, 
it is pulled simply back from the face, giving a clean, simple, youthful look. Hair can be used too to reshape the line of the face. Because this forehead is high, a softening bang which also shortens the face length is used. And there you have a simple hairdress. So simple you can take care of it at home. Clean in look. The line clean. A hairdress that brings out all the best lines of your face. Tight little corkscrew curls all over your head make it look cluttered, messy, and make you look older. No hairdress that can't be brushed is a good hairdress. So brush and comb your hairdress into place into a halo around your head. Clean and simple. No tightness, no frizz of curls. Just a fine, clean, shining line. Every hair shining lustrously. Clean hair, clean in line, can be one of your greatest beauty assets. And now you've completed your one, two, three clean look plan. Your face radiant, skin so confined, deep, cleansed with a five-minute clean look facial, glowing with inner and outer health, accented with a natural clean look makeup. Your body satin skin from your clean look bath, clean and sweet day long. The line of your figure graceful. Your hair immaculately clean, brushed shiny. The hairline dressed in a simple, becoming line. There you are, a graduate of the clean look plan. Vital, attractive, charming. A woman of true beauty. Your own beauty, natural beauty. Well-groomed and self-assured, ready for any job. You at your best. You with the clean look.